So I wanted to start my day out using this. But, <laughs> Alaska. So as I drive through the snowy Fairbanks area, it dawns on me, hey, I've got bismuth. What the heck is bismuth, you say? Well, it's a metal. It has a melting point of 520 degrees. It's atomic weight 83 and hangs out right here on the periodic table. When it cools slowly, it makes really awesome stepping crystals in a square formation like this. And it happens to be the main ingredient that helps your tummy in this stuff. It's pretty dang heavy, too. This is one of my aluminum skulls. There'll be a link in the description to a video on how I make this. It's pure aluminum. You can see it's about the same size as the bismuth. And it weighs in at one and a half pounds. Similar size chunk of bismuth weighs in five pounds. It's dense. But with a melting point like that, in order to melt it to make these crystals, all you gotta do is pop it in a stainless steel pan on the stove, crank up the heat, and walk away. Yes, this is sped up quite a bit. But while it was melting, there's a little bit of prep work that you need to do. You want it to cool as slowly as possible. So I've got my little bucket full of sand and a mainstays ceramic dish made in China nestled down into the sand. Take that whole bit, set it in the oven. And heat it up to 465. Once it's preheated and melted, carefully pour your bismuth into your ceramic cup and let it cool slowly. The trick here is once the edges and the bottom solidify, pour out the excess metal to reveal the crystals inside. As you can see, first attempt was a fail. No crystals here. Not to worry. Once it cools, pop it out of the dish, remelt, re-preheat, and re-pour. Attempt number two to reveal the crystals was also quite disappointing. And I noticed I wasn't getting any of the oxide colors that you're supposed to get. Had me curious. I know it's supposed to cool slow, but it was taking forever to cool down. No worries. Once again, melt it all back down, preheat, and pour. I mean, it's fun to look at while we're waiting for it to solidify. It's just like a mirror. But it's taken so long. I figured I'd check the temp and see where we are. Still liquid at 170? That's not right. The melting point is 520. Hmm, science mode engaged. My tap water makes it to 137. Let's see, will it melt in that?
No, nope. still solid. What's going on here? Is the water in the pan hot enough? Yeah, 136, okay. So it's liquid at 170, solid at 136. Let's find the exact temperature this is melting at. There it is, 146. Well, that's touching the pan on the bottom. The water up at the top is 146. So somewhere between 146 and 170, it melts. Okay, so what happened here? Well, I bought my bismuth off eBay. It's not bismuth. It's what's called woods metal. It's an alloy. It's a lot of lead, a lot of tin, a lot of bismuth, but not as much as what I need to do what I want to do. Moral of the story, don't buy your bismuth off eBay. We'll revisit this topic again once I get some real bismuth from an American supplier. Click on one of these panels up here to get taken to another one of my videos. It works on mobile now. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Throw a comment down below and let me know what you thought. See you next time.